This training video covers how to use the Primex OneView Wired Device Configurator app, also referred to as the OWDC app. The OneView Wired Device Configurator app allows you to do on-site configuration of Primex network devices for use with OneView. With the app, you can add a new device to OneView, eliminating the requirement to complete the online device configuration process. With the app, you can also view or update the primary settings of a device that is already added in OneView. When placing an order, you will have the option to choose device pre-configuration or the app. When choosing the app at the time the order is placed, you will simply configure the device on site during installation or service. Use of the app also makes the order shipment process quicker. Primex compatible network devices include the Primex monitoring sensors, smart sync bridges, Primex bell controllers, and Lebo digital PoE clocks. Please note that analog PoE clocks and smart comm message boards are not compatible with the app and do require that device pre-configuration is completed before these device types are shipped from Primex. The first thing you will need to do is go to the Google Play Store to download the OneView Wired Device Configurator app. This app is only available for Android devices and is not available for Apple or iOS at this time. Once you download the app, you will then connect your Android device to the Primex device. The app guides you through the entire process. It's that simple to do on-site configuration of Primex devices to view or edit a device's primary settings. So what can you do with the app? First, you can add a new device to OneView with the app. Again, when placing an order, you will indicate if the order's devices will be configured with the OWDC app. When you select the app, you will not complete the online device pre-configuration process. You will add the device to OneView yourself while on-site using the app. Once added, the device automatically connects to its assigned network and checks into OneView. One key requirement before you add a device through the app is that you must ensure the network the device will be assigned to is already in OneView. The app requires a device to be assigned to a network, allowing it to check into OneView. Once you complete the app, it steps you through the process and the device checks into OneView. You will see that the device's unique 12 character ID, its MAC address, is added to OneView. This provides a true plug and play experience. Next, for a device that's already in OneView, you can view or update its primary settings. When you update a device's settings in the app, the device automatically checks in and the setting changes are uploaded and saved to OneView. Finally, you can view or update a device's assigned network. This is very helpful when troubleshooting a device that can't connect to the network. Before you assign a new network, you must verify the network profile you are assigning the device to is already in OneView. From the app, you can't edit or add network profiles. Once you complete assigning the device to a network from the app, you can then confirm it's successfully connected to the network while at the device. The device's LCD screen displays signal OK icon, which allows you to resolve a device's network connection issues while on site. What is required to use OWDC? You need to have a user account that's assigned to the account admin role for the account you are using OWDC on. If you are an account admin for multiple accounts, when you log in, you will see all your accounts. Be sure to select the account you are configuring these devices for. Next, you will need a con connection cable. This cable is dependent on the Android device you have. You will either need a mini USB to micro USB OTG or a mini USB to USB-C cable. These cables can be ordered from your favorite online retailer. You will need an Android device. The app instructions provide a complete list of compatible Android devices. When using the app, be sure that your Android device 
has at minimum 25% battery life. Lastly, if you are adding a new device, you will, see, you will need the device's primary settings. The primary settings are dependent on the device type. We will review these later. Now, let's review the steps to use the app. Step one is to remove AC power from the device if it has already been plugged into it. We will be using this port to configure the device. The Primex device uses the power from the Android device during configuration, which is why your Android device requires at minimum 25% battery life. Next, open the app and enter in your username and password. This is the same username and password that you log into OneView with. If you are an admin on multiple accounts, select the account from the list you want these devices to check in to OneView under. If you are not admin on multiple accounts, you will not have this choice and it will take you to the next screen. Here, the app will instruct you to connect the Primex device to the Android device using the correct mini USB cable. When you see that the Primex device LCD screen displays CON, you are ready to begin configuration. CON indicates the device is connected to the app and in configuration mode. You can now assign the device's network by selecting a network from the drop-down menu. Then select Next to configure its other primary settings. Next, you will configure or edit the device's primary settings. Again, the settings do vary by the device type you are configuring. Let's review the primary settings for each device type. For Primex Temp or IAQ sensor, you will provide the device's assigned network. Again, be sure the network profile is already configured in one view. Then you will set its monitored asset, which is what the sensor will be monitoring. You can either create a new monitored asset or enter in the exact name of the monitored asset already in one view. Existing monitored assets are not displayed in the app, so it's extremely important to enter the exact name of the monitored asset as it is in one view. Next, select its business unit, and finally, its range. The range is optional and can be set in one view at a later point. For a smart sync bridge, you will provide its assigned network, its new clock time zone, which is this time zone that smart sync clocks are set to the first time they connect to the smart sync mesh at the facility. When set to default, the system sets the new clock time zone to the account profile. This is by default. Its device name commonly identifies the bridge location. And finally, its business unit. From AMCO, you can't not create a new business unit. For a Primex event belt controller, you'll provide the device's assigned network, its zones for each relay. Now, there are two zones. A zone in one view contains this bell schedule. If an existing zone is to be assigned to a relay, the exact name must be provided or you can create a new zone. It's recommended to create the zones in one view before configuring a device with the amp. It's easier to select an existing zone. And finally, for Levo digital PoE clocks, you will provide its assigned network the OneView network profile the device will connect to, then its unique name, which is commonly its installation location. For all devices, when a non-DHCP network is selected, you must provide the device's static IP address. The app is intuitive by providing you a step-by-step -step experience to easily configure a Primex device on-site during installation or service. The app then configures the device and displays the status of the configuration. Do not disconnect power until the app tells you. You will see a message to disconnect the Primex device from the Android device. Do so at this time. Then connect AC or battery power to the Primex device. The app then verifies the device checked into OneView successfully. From the app, you can select Done. Configuration is then complete, and you can configure additional devices as needed. 
The app also verifies that the device checks into OneView. If after 15 minutes the device is not checked into OneView, the app displays a message to try the network configuration again. It's recommended to log into OneView and verify the device is checked in. You can also update additional settings in OneView at this point if needed. As you can see, the OneView Wired Device Configurator app provides you with the experience of managing Primex network devices on a mobile platform. And we hope that you find it's a flexible and convenient solution when you are configuring and managing Primex devices on site. This completes the training. If you need additional information, instructions are located in the app itself and also in OneView Help Online.